record. The mayor say it live this afternoon on News for Jax. If you live in zones A or B, you are encouraged to start evacuating now. Here's what we know, because evacuations that are happening in South Florida, we could have major traffic issues. So looking live at those traffic issues right now through our DOT camera, this is I-95 at University Boulevard. Can you tell which direction is going north? There are already congested roadways here. People from South Florida evacuating, trying to leave the state. Channel 4's Corley Peel is joining us live at Jacksonville Beach to show us how people living in those areas are responding to Mayor Curry's call. Kent, some people I spoke with out here today say they're going to be taking the mayor's advice and plan on evacuating this weekend. However, there are some people who say they'd rather stay and just ride out the storm. Chris Tillis takes one of her final walks in the sand at Jacksonville Beach before evacuating for Hurricane Irma. We have kids and pets and they come first and we want to, their safety is our responsibility. We want to take care of them. Another couple I spoke with forced to cut their anniversary vacation to Miami short and now they're driving north to beat the storm. Yeah, we're going to spend the night here in Jacksonville, find a um, hotel and then rent a, a different car and drive back to Chicago tomorrow. But not everyone is willing to leave town. But I think it's just not going to be as big of a deal, so I'm not running to sit on 95 for 20 hours, basically. All we can do is expect the worst and hope for the best. Tilla says all she can do now is pray that Irma will weaken and that the storm won't destroy the city she grew up in. The mayor also says the city is preparing 12 shelters in case they're needed. They'll be making announcements about those shelter openings on Friday. Reporting live from Jacksonville Beach, Corley Peel, Channel 4, The Local Station.